What's going on guys? Next.js provides a mechanism that will allow us to catch requests to multiple paths or routes. Next.out.js uses that mechanism to integrate an authentication solution with multiple providers such as Spotify, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, LinkedIn, and many others. In this video, I'm going to show you how this mechanism works and how it is applied in Next.out.js. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. When using Next.js catch all routes feature, the dynamic routes can be extended to catch all paths or routes by adding three dots inside the brackets. If we create this file within this folder, pages slash post slash and then square brackets, three dots and define name dot JS, the route that we define here is going to match with slash post slash a slash post slash a slash b and so on. Okay, now let's see how Next.out.js implements this catch all routes mechanism provided by Next.js. When we use this library in our Next.js application, we define a route within this file, pages, API, out, and then square brackets, three dots, Next.out.js. The handler that we include there that is part of the Next.out library is going to catch multiple routes or endpoints. For example, API, out, sign in, provider, where if we call this endpoint using the get HTTP verb, it's going to display the sign-in page using that provider. If we perform a post request to that endpoint, it's going to start an OAuth sign-in flow for that specific provider. For example, if we perform a get HTTP request to slash API slash auth slash sign-in slash Spotify, it's going to display the sign-in page to sign in with Spotify. The handler that we define in that file is going to also match with a slash API slash out slash callback slash provider. If we perform a get HTTP request to that endpoint, it's going to handle the returning requests from out services during the sign in. And one example is a get HTTP request performed over a slash API slash out slash callback slash Spotify. And this is typically executed as part of the signing flow after the user is logged in into that platform. So for example, after we sign in in Spotify, Spotify is going to perform a request to our callback using this endpoint. This is another endpoint that will be handled by that file, slash API, slash out, slash sign out. If we perform a get HTTP request over that endpoint, it's going to display the sign out page. And if we perform a post HTTP request over that endpoint, is going to handle the sign out. Here is another endpoint or route that will be handled by next out slash API slash out slash session. And we perform a get HTTP request over that endpoint is going to return a client safe session object or an empty object if there is no session available. Let's see another example slash API slash out slash CSRF is going to return an object containing a CSRF token so the token returned by this endpoint must be passed as a form variable named CSRF token in all post submissions to any API endpoint. Let's see another example, slash API, slash out, slash providers. When we perform a get HTTP request to that endpoint, it's going to return a list of configured OAuth services and details. For example, sign in and callback URLs for each service. This is a concept that I wanted to explain before moving on to different integrations. We started talking about passwordless authentication using an email provider. And now we're going to continue with some other providers such as Spotify, GitLab, and GitHub. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.